relationship. Planned Parenthood wants to sell eight month old babies. The, day, the leaders have to be able chop to them up, sell their organs. You protect it uh, to find the common ground to get things done. Uh, and uh, so if the Congress get things done. It's important to the American people. I can't listen to anymore of this. We'll we'll come back to some of it after the break. I, I just want to remind listeners that the Tea Party is under an attack from this guy and the Democrats. They hate the libertarian movement and the Republican Party because they know it's popular, it's constitutional, it's a counter to what they're doing. That's why I want to encourage all of you out there to visit InfoWarsLife.com today and find some of the best nutraceutical supplements out there to read the rave reviews. We've sold out of Super Male Vitality. We got a small shipment in of Super Female Vitality that in my case... Dr. Group talks about this. It works better for some men. It's just got a few added herbs that supposedly are more tailored to women. It's got all the same stuff that uh, the men's has. Just check it out at InfoWarsLife.com. Uh, if you didn't get a chance to get Super Male Vitality or the Super Female sold out, <coughs> our big lab that produces it pointed out that they had a small amount of it. So that's uh, available at InfoWarsLife.com. Also, Survival Shield Nason Iodine, the Good Halogen X Tube. Uh, is available at InfoWarsLife.com. That is going to sell out. It could be months until we get more. Uh, we also have back in stock Child Ease, uh, which is a whole bunch of herbs and compounds known to focus and calm out children uh, for you know for decades. Some of these herbs have been used for thousands of years. Find details at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Brain Force is back in as well. It's 20% off. DNA Force is 20% off. That's the big discounts right now at InfoWarsStore.com or InfoWarsLife.com. And you know you're funding the tip of the spear in the fight for liberty. The globalists want to shut us down. Your answer to that is spreading the word, praying for us, and buying the products. And I know you will. So thank you. I salute you. It's now time to double down and defend the press. It's under attack because the enemy is in trouble and they're counter offensive right now. Boehner is still up there babbling at his announcement that he's going to resign at the end of October from the Speakership of the House of Representatives. Congressman Walter Jones of North Carolina that publicly spearheaded the takedown of Boehner is going to be joining us at the start of the next segment. Marco Rubio uh, announced at a conservative function this morning that Boehner was going to be stepping down to applause. This is him posing like he's not a rhino, too. Marco Rubio is just as bad as John Boehner with his voting record, his flip-flopping, uh, his open borders promotion. I, I mean, with Republicans like this, who needs Democrats? And this, this is why we're in so much trouble. And then his worship of the Marxist Pope. And by the way, last night I was listening to a local station that was rearing some of my show, and I heard myself calling the Pope a, a, a scumbag and stuff. I, I don't apologize to the Pope for saying that, but I need to be more respectful because there's a lot of good people that are Catholics who are very hurt by what this Pope's doing. And I don't want to sound gleeful about it. I'm actually nauseous. I'm upset. Um, I've never attacked the Catholic Church or, or, or Popes because I thought what they stood for, I really couldn't criticize. It's like... Pontius Pilate, I find no fault here when people are pro-life, anti-communist, you know, anti-Soviet Union. And I know there was infiltration and problems, and it, I, I get it. There's been a long slide. It, it's just that it really freaks me out to see a pope with hardcore Marxism, eugenics, you know, you can't have air conditioning. That's a death sentence to the third world. But I'm going to be more professional about it, not because anybody complained. Everybody loves the fact that I'm bashing him. I don't like how it sounded. It's just, it's so sick. It's so sick. Uh, here is Rubio making the announcement on Boehner, who's still giving his press conference. And we'll see how things progress. Just a few minutes ago, Speaker Boehner announced that he will be resigning. Yeah! If people are not there to see Rubio, it's a conservative summit. The standing ovation goes on and on and on. Let's go back to his lordship, uh, John Boehner, uh, here for a minute uh, to see what his excellency, uh, I say that because every time they're at the UN, uh, there he is walking out, he's leaving. Let's turn up the audio here as we watch C-SPAN. Uh, Speaker Boehner, well, I really do. Uh, 
And he has served our nation to the utmost, and I am very pleased uh, that Sounds like a staffer he was, uh, calling in. handled very well at at the uh, news conference. I'm glad nobody picked on him or anything. Oh, nobody picked on him. Because he cries all the it's time. Actually the American people it's okay. He keeps the abortion uh, going because really he cries a lot, little teddy bear. Because if you remember well, that. Well, that's all an act. The recent uh, campaigns, everything They'll was probably still indict him down the road just to scare he everybody. Would, he would do this, the GOP would do that. And he embraced that. The problem was. I can't listen anymore. I'll turn that person off, please. That's some mummy up there doing the interviews. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be mean. I'm turning into Donald Trump here. Sure, it's a great reporter. I, I don't know. I just can't handle it. There's a headline: Conservatives warm to his deputy McCarthy. We don't. He was. He was the deputy of Newt Gingrich. John Boner was. That's his real name. So be proud of your German name, buddy. And you know, if your name's Schmidt, it's not Schmitzer. Or if your name is. Uh, Gruber, it's not Gobbler. Your name's Boner. And the point is that now they're trying to put his deputy in. And we're going to have Congressman Jones joining us. Again, I'm, doing, I'm plugging twice this hour because I didn't plug any last hour. We got a lot of bills to pay around here, and these are high-quality products. You know the globalists are attacking us or demonizing us are going after Patriot Press, the Tea Party, thousands of Tea Party groups uh, harassed, audited, indicted, uh, filmmakers arrested, indicted, set up. And we've had multiple sources that I've put together in the last year from inside the government uh, say that Obama has got people, he's ordering the FBI uh, through the Justice Department to find something. And they couldn't find anything, so they went to the SEC, the FTC, excuse me, was the SEC that threatened a filmmaker I knew to not be involved. And that came out in the New York Times later, Mark Cuban, or film distributor, I should say. And it doesn't matter we haven't done anything wrong. These people have shown, it's been proven, that they will frame you, they will set you up, or they will confuse you into saying something that's incorrect so they can try to then charge you for making false statements to the FBI. That's why if the FBI ever comes around here and they've been here before, I just say, give me your subpoena. Here's the info you want. Somebody making death threats once on a forum. And I'm not talking to you. So talk to the hand. That's uh, what you can be expecting. But anyways, uh, we have a lot of high-quality products available at InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com. And Super Female Vitality is back in stock for a limited time. Uh, a small amount of that is available. Monday through Friday, we're here live, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central, back Sundays, 4 to 6 p.m. We have seen an unprecedented war on the free press and on whistleblowers. Even Democrat uh, top constitutional lawyers like Jonathan Turley have said Obama is three times worse than any president they've ever seen or read about or heard about. We have an attack on the family. We have an attack on our sovereignty, our borders. We have our own government caught funding ISIS and Al-Qaeda. Even the head of defense intelligence quit and went public a month and a half ago. The deputy head of the CIA went public two weeks ago on CBS News. So the good news is there are good people in government telling the truth. The bad news is the corrupt elements are doubling and tripling down. Now, it was back in August, and we'll put the article up on screen, that we interviewed Congressman Walter Jones of North Carolina. We interviewed him on August 15th. On the 16th, we had the article and the accompanying news bulletin, special report, fire John Boehner, vacate the chair. Speaker blamed for the cause of the power of Congress to atrophy, thereby making Congress subservient to the executive and judicial branches. That's a quote from Congressman Jones, who in part led this dangerous operation because they target you and come after you when you do this. He, of course, then announced he will resign at the end of October today. And the big question is, what precipitated this? Was it the vacate the chair movement? He basically admitted today that an internal battles forced him to do this. What comes next? Who does Congressman Jones think should be the real conservative, patriot, constitutionalist to lead the Republican Congress and challenge uh, President Obama? Boehner said five times that I saw him in the press conference that just ended. Ten minutes ago, 
that he strengthened the House and strengthened the speakership. That, of course, is obviously not true. So joining us is Congressman Walter Jones. Congressman, thank you so much. We've won a big battle, but not the war. Alex, you're exactly right, and thank you for having me on your show in mid-August to talk about this issue. And, no, this is an opportunity, and I hope, and I know you will, but I hope other conservative talk show hosts will pick up the 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 drumsticks and start beating the drum to get a conservative speaker in the House of Representatives. We're going to have an opportunity. It's not going to be easy, but we're going to have an opportunity to get the right person in that chair. And I anticipate next week when we go back, I'm in the Liberty Caucus, as you well know. We also have the Freedom Caucus. If you combine the Liberty Caucus and the Freedom Caucus, that's about 65 or 70 members who are basically conservative. This will be our opportunity. But we need to push from outside. Uh, don't let this just be an inside battle. Let the outside forces who help us reach this victory today to let their voices be heard by calling their members of Congress and tell them, for goodness sakes, let's get a man of principle in the speaker's chair or a woman of principle who will not cut deals to raise the debt ceiling, will not cut deals to spend money overseas that we don't have. Well, I'm just speechless because your 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 focused, uh, simple words still uh, are so important and so crystal that we have a chance to really try to get a good Speaker of the House in there that is basically as powerful as the president uh, if they exercise uh, their power instead of being lapdogs, and we could really turn this country around. The entire power structure, both Rhino and Democrat, has been focusing its energies on destroying the Tea Party and stopping a libertarian conservative rebellion in the House to try to take control uh, of the Congress uh, away from the establishment. And we, I think, are very close to doing that. Uh, being up there on the Hill, sir, and, and being an expert on this, uh, what do you think the strategy is, the winning strategy, uh, to be able to try to checkmate Obama at, at a time where he's just operating like a dictator? Well, Alex, as you know and I know, before we had the vote for the Speaker of the House in January of 2015, I was one of 25 to vote no on John Boehner. You and other talk show hosts, you were beating the drum that I called about just a moment ago to call for that drum beat again. We're going to have Boehner will be in office to the end of October. We're going to have a CR coming up. And most of us hope that we defund Planned Parenthood. I don't know what will be in the continuing resolution known as a CR next week. But I will tell you this. We are going to have an opportunity that you do not get very often. And that's in the middle of a congressional session to change the leadership that's why, again, I wanted to be on your show, and I would tell you that I hope that your listeners will do what they will probably very seldom have an opportunity to do, change the direction of the House of Representatives. This is a historic moment right now. Who should they contact, and who are some of the people you think would be good speakers of the House? Well... Alex, the reason I'm going to answer you this way is I anticipate over the weekend to have several phone calls, which I have not had yet. But I know that there are members of Congress who are testing the waters right now who are conservative. I anticipate to be part of, of telephone conversations this weekend and certainly when I go back Monday. Uh, and I'm looking at the TV right now, Matt Salmon, who's a fine fella. He was from Arizona. Uh, he ended up voting for Boehner. Uh, I know that since that time in August, he made the statement back in Arizona that if there was a vote to vacate the chair, he would vote to vacate the chair. There are plenty of conservatives who know that this is our opportunity to stop the train wreck. The country is being dismantled in front of us right now. We need a patriot in the speakership of the house well alex i i'm i'm looking at right now a washington post article because i want to write a letter to the editor and let me read the headlines i think this would be of interest to you and your listeners u.s wasted billions of dollars rebuilding afghanistan why in the world are we spending so much money 
wasted money overseas when we've got 